A victim, according to Webster's Dictionary, is a person who has been attacked, injured, robbed, killed, cheated, or fooled by someone else or harmed by an unpleasant event. Now, everyone goes through at least one of these experiences at some point in their life, physically and or emotionally. Now, we're all victims in moments to life's challenges, and it's important to process these feelings. But there are people who feel like victims all the time, regardless of their circumstances. Those with a victim mentality are always feel like they are being victimized, at least in their own mind. A victim mentality can make it feel like life is unfair. You may even feel there's nothing you can do to change your circumstances. So is that true? Well, in this episode, I'm going to answer the following questions. What exactly is a victim mentality? What causes a victim mentality? For those with the victim mentality, they ask themselves, why can't I stop playing the victim? And can anything be done to address having a victim mentality? So let me get right into it. So what is exactly a victim mentality? Well, this is where you often feel like a victim, even when the evidence says otherwise. So two major signs include frequently blaming others and having trouble accepting personal responsibility. These are people who feel they have no control over what happens to them. They seem to be constantly commenting on some type of injustice being done to them. I'll give you an example where others are not giving them what they need, what they want or deserve. They feel that they're being controlled against their will. They feel that other people are making them do what they don't want to do or they talk about how life is against them and the universe is designed to punish them. Some behavioral signs. This is, like I said before, often placing blame on external factors or other people when things go wrong. They have trouble taking that personal responsibility or seeing how they may have contributed to the situation being overly critical of themselves or other people. Self-sabotage. This is a very common theme with people who have that victim mentality. And in order to fit in, they tend to associate only with people who think like they do. They do. Now, some mental or cognitive signs, they see the world as unsafe or unfair. They have what we call cognitive distortions like catastrophizing. So worst case scenarios and really focusing on those. They can have harmful thinking patterns or pessimism. They ruminate, meaning they dwell over past wrongs and hurts. They can have thoughts of self-harm or suicide. When it comes to relationships, they have a lot of difficulty with intimacy and trust. A, A lot of times they're also emotionally unavailable. They have limited empathy for others. They have a huge mistrust of authority figures and they like to keep score in relationships. They also have a lot of trouble accepting constructive criticism. So a lot of emotional signs, and again, they don't have to have all of these, but just a few would be anxiety, depression, maybe they feel unseen. They may feel a sense of guilt or a sense of shame. They sometimes have low self-esteem. They can have a resentment of, of of other people and they usually are pretty socially isolated so one might think well what causes this what causes that victim mentality and it's often experiencing multiple so this is not a single thing this is multiple situations where they feel that they have no sense of control there's also an ongoing emotional pain that leads to this learned helplessness So I'll give you an example if they feel betrayed by someone and it's often someone that's very close to them. So when someone has that victim um, mentality, they might say, well, I don't like playing it. I don't like this victim mentality. I don't like thinking this way. How can I stop this way? But why? So basically, why can't I stop being that victim? Well, self-pity. This is usually related to that anger and rumination. 
Now there is a payoff, actually there's three payoffs. Blame the victim has three payoffs. One is your helpless outlook attracts attention to make others love you more or want to protect you or feel sorry for you. Number two, you don't have to take responsibility for anything so you don't even have to make the effort to try to change your circumstances. And three, playing this victim or having this victim mindset, it helps you avoid or at least reduce criticism from others as they don't want to upset you more than you already are. So can anything be done to address having this victim mentality? Yes, there is. So first, take ownership and responsibility for your own needs and wants. So how do you do that? Figure out what you really want and what's truly important to you. Keep in mind what was important to you a few years ago might be different than what's important to you today. And do what you need to do to make it happen. Avoid wasting time blaming or getting angry at others who don't want or need the same things as you do. Leave them out of it. Learn to take responsibility for your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. So I'll give you an example. Instead of saying, you make me feel so sad, say something like, I feel so sad when you treat me this way. Replacing the word you with the word I will help you recognize and acknowledge responsibility for your own feelings and behaviors. Strategy number two, this is hard. Practice saying no. This helps set boundaries with other people. So if you don't want to do something and you don't realistically have to do it, don't do it. Remember that you are allowed to have needs just like everyone else. Also limit those interactions that feel draining and also resist the temptation to rescue others. These are other people who don't want to help themselves. Third strategy, stop blaming. When you hear yourself going into blaming stories, whether it's against other people, the world, life, whomever, say stop to yourself out loud and actually turn your attention away from your blaming thoughts. I want you to refocus on what you can do right now. Number four, understand the underlying cause of feeling powerless. Do this through a lot of deep self-reflection and analysis, and if needed, consult with a professional. Number five, be kind to yourself. By playing the victim role, you are intensifying your pain. You're not only suffering because of whatever happened, you're not, you've now added to that suffering the fact that you don't get what others get because you're cursed. Life and everyone in it is out to get you, and basically the universe hates you. Is that supposed to make you feel better? Take a moment to appreciate yourself for everything you've been through by understanding why you've been chosen to be a victim. This can help you forgive other people as well as forgive yourself. This in turn will help you come to terms with past traumatic experiences. Number six, just briefly brought up before, but consider professional support. You don't have to go through this alone. Therapy can help you process the past trauma and help you learn to choose, remember it's a choice, to either leave a situation or accept it and take responsibility for what you can control in life and learn how to control how you react. A therapist can also work with you on goal setting and developing self-efficacy and self-compassion to allow you to feel more in charge of your life. You can do this such as journaling to help process your emotions and there's various types of gratitude practices that you can employ. Now, regardless of its perks, choosing to be a victim is not healthy. So try applying these strategies to break from this toxic victim mindset. If you've learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below of what resonated with you. I also have another video I want you to watch. It's called How to Forgive Yourself. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Take care and remember to keep your mental game on.